Hey, how's it going YouTube? Bronco Outdoors here with another car guide review. And today we're going to be taking a look at this tire inflator from Asperks. Super excited to take this thing out of the box, see what it's capable of. Without any further ado, let's head over to the unboxing. So taking a quick look inside the box, we have our user manual. Here's the actual tire inflator. I actually really like the stylings. Pretty nice. Rugged device. Big buttons, easy to click. So here we get a USB, USB-C charging cable. Here we have the hose and uh, tire valve adapter. Looks like we get a bag of attachments. And last but not least, we have a nice carrying bag. Nice. Let's see, we have some nice big buttons. We have a power button, flashlight button, subtract pressure, add pressure, and our mode button. You can see that the display is pretty easily readable in direct sunlight. Um, oh, moving over to the top of the device, we have our hose connector, we have our flashlight, and our USB-C charging port. Seems to be it for the device, so let's go ahead and run through how to use it. You're going to want to go ahead and insert the hose and spin that counterclockwise, screwing it in until it's nice and tight. And use this orange piece to wrench down on it. And there you go. And now we're ready to head over to the Bronco and test it out. So as we can see, my tire is indeed flat. The first thing we're going to want to do to fill that up is hit the power button. You can see we have our display showing us what pressure we're going to set to. We have a little car showing us we're in car mode. We hit the cycle modes button. We have motorcycle, bicycle tire, basketball, and then this is a custom one. So if you go over to car, we're in KPA now. So if we hold down the modes button, we could switch over to PSI. Then we can use our plus and minus uh, to set the pressure that we want. I'm going to put this to 32 for my tire. So we're set up and ready to go. You can see we're reading two PSI. So we are indeed flat and in need of air. We have our stopwatch here. Let's go ahead and get started. So overall, the results are pretty much on par with what we see with other tire inflators that we review on this channel. We do have one battery tick left, so you will want to put it to charge after doing that. 11 minutes, 28 seconds. Overall, pretty good. Um, there is no external power support to plug into the car, so you will have to charge it for your next use. But overall, pretty happy with the device, and I do think it looks quite good. Actually, the styling of it really resembles the Sandy 2000 from Spinarsi that I reviewed a little while back. Be sure to click the link to that video if you want to see that one. And of course, we do have that flashlight functionality. We can put it into strobe or SOS mode, just in case you never know what you might need working in the night and you need a flashlight. This has that on board, convenient. And it comes with a nifty carrying bag, so you can put in all your attachments and take it on the road with you so that's it for the review thank you so much for watching if you're interested in this product be sure to click the video link description down below it'll take you right over to it so you can purchase one for yourself that's all i have for you today thank you so much for watching you have a great day bye bye